Hey everyone, this is Ming Zhong from mingzhongtay.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually set up a PayPal Buy Now button in less than just 5 minutes. So trust me, this is a really simple process, but uh, for those who don't really know how to set up your own PayPal button uh, to sell something on your website, um, this is just an a overview how you can easily do that. So let's just head down to PayPal and I already logged into my PayPal account as you can see here. Um, just um, let you know um, this is one of my PayPal account and you can easily um, create your own PayPal buy now button by just clicking on the merchant services. Just click on this merchant services. Um, subsequently you just um, scroll down and you will see the payment buttons. So just click on this uh, learn more button. So once you click on that, um, you'll get to this page. Um, you'll see the website payment standard um, overview and you scroll down a bit, you will see the payment buttons here. So there are three types of payments, sell single items, sell multiple items and offer the subscription automated payments. So if you are offering a services or like for example link building services, you'll view uh, X amount of backlinks to the site and in per month uh, is probably I don't know $20 or $50 uh, whatever amount you would like to set, you can probably use a subscribe button. So unless people um, unsubscribe from you, they will just keep paying uh, to you every month. So this is the uh, um, automated payments, uh, the sub subscribe button. And if you're just selling one single items, um, for example, it can be an ebook, can be a video course, or it can be a physical product, so probably some old textbooks or some tables or whatever that you have. And you can just set up the sell single items, or you can set up uh, multiple items uh, if you are selling multiple items. So. I'll just demonstrate um, how to set up a sell single items, a buy now button, similar to this one. So basically just click on create new, create one now. And you will just uh, go to another new page. So there are pretty much um, just uh, three steps or you can say just one step because um, the other two steps are optional. So this is uh, step one. Choose button type, enter your payment details. Step 2, track inventory profit loss. This is optional. Step 3, customize the advanced features. This is also optional. So for step 1, um, the important part is just fill in your item number. Let's say um, ebook 1. Item ID uh, is optional. Price, um, say I want to sell it for $17 or $76 or Aussie dollars or uh, US dollar. And you can customize a button, then add a drop down menu like this, or you can um, add a drop down menu like this, or you can simply just leave it like this. Postage, if it requires uh, you to uh, do the whole postage and handling, you can just add in the amount, um, you know, $9 for international, or um, $10, or just $3 uh, for local, whatever amount that you would like to set. If it is a digital product, um, just put it zero because uh, it wouldn't incur any postage. And you can put tax, but again, if it is a digital product, um, it won't incur any tax. Um, but um, anyway, uh, I'm not a tax consultant. Uh, for the tax issue, you will just need to uh, consult your accountant or tax consultant. So. Step two is track the inventory profit loss. Um, generally, I will just leave this um, as default. I don't really touch it. And step three, uh, there's one one setting here is quite crucial if you are selling uh, digital products, which is the um, these two here. Take customers to this URL when they cancel their checkout, and take customers to this URL when they finish checkout. So basically, um, this is the URL that you would like your customers to see once they finish a the checkout, that means that once they already pay you, um, you should let them to download the digital products. So this might be um, some download link, mingjongtay.com, that's my site, slash whatever, download.html. So this is the URL that you, you will want your um, customers to see right after they pay you. So this is the download URL. 
Um, once you have set this up, you can just uh, click on the Create button, uh, and it will generate a, a series of code like HTML code. So don't worry about that. Um, all you need is just to copy and paste that. Uh, probably I can just show you uh, how does it look like. You can create a button, and we'll just um, display a series of the code here. Oh, error, error output. Just double check the link must be king. Oh, okay. Um, it's here. HTTP. www. Okay. We click on create button again. And now it should show you, yeah, that, that's the uh, HTML code. So you can just copy and paste it directly uh, to your website and the button will show up. Or if you have your own um, buy now button, such as the Belgium button, the big orange button, or any type of logo that you would like to show uh, in your website, you can basically just um, copy and paste the URL um, instead of the, the whole thing. So that's the URL that you would like to copy and paste if you have your own logo buy now button. If not, you can just use uh, um, this buy now button here, just copy and paste everything into your website. And that's it. You just uh, create a buy now button on your website. So for every single, every other products that you have, you need to create a buy now button. So I hope this um, video helpful. And if you love to learn more, um, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. And from now, stay in touch. Talk to you soon.